It was a tragic scene earlier this week. Two people were killed when a Mercy flight helicopter crashed in Elba. The FAA released a report citing concerns about that model of helicopter the very same day. Good evening, everyone. I'm Claudine Ewing. Tonight, pilot Jim Sauer and Bell flight instructor Stuart Dietrich were honored by first responders from across our region. Two on your side, Daniel Church has more on today's event, and it definitely was emotional. Yeah, it definitely was, Claudine. It was a very somber ceremony for both 60-year-olds who were taken from us all too soon. Sauer is from Churchville, a retired New York State police pilot who began working with Mercy Flight in the fall of 2020. Dietrich is from uh, Prosper, Texas, and as, you, as Claudine said, a Bell helicopter instructor. The two were doing a training exercise Tuesday when the helicopter crashed. An entire community of first responders is now grieving the loss of them both. Those who knew Sauer would always talk very passionately or say he would always talk very passionately about flying and they were always impressed by just how much he loved what he was doing. So when they got the call about the crash, it was a tough one for them to take. They say both of the men will be remembered as heroes. Steve Baxter is a retired Mercy Flight paramedic and says first responders will need to lean on each other right now to get through the grief. You know, we're trained to go and do our jobs, and then when we come back, we kind of compartmentalize the bad things. And we have to because we have to be able to go on the next call or we just will be ineffective. But when we get into a line of duty death that touches us all so closely, it's really hard for us to have that mentality. So we have to rely on our family to get through it and our, our immediate family, which would be our company, our, our families at home and our extended families, which are EMS providers, law enforcement and fire guys that that come together like this to help us through the bad times. During the ceremony, Mercy Flight was responding to another call. We still don't know what the, what caused the crash on Tuesday. According to officials, the helicopter was at about 2,000 feet in the air when something went wrong and the tail rotor came off. Months could go by before investigators are able to determine what the cause of that crash was. Coming up tonight at 11, we'll talk to Deputy Fire Coordinator for, Alle for Allegheny County. Sowers Funeral is Monday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That will be over at the Open Door Baptist Church in Churchville. Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.